Elsewhere now, Nigeria's First Lady Asha Buhari is calling for the gradual integration of traditional and alternative medicine into Nigeria's healthcare system. In the same breath, Mrs. Buhari wants more use of the country's medicinal plants as only a fraction of its number has been utilized. This plea was made at the just concluded two day conference on traditional, complementary, and alternative medicine in Abuja. Health correspondent Kemi Baloma reports. After that, we'll have business news. Traditional and alternative medicine has been recognized by the World Health Organization as a very important part of the healthcare delivery system as it provides other healing options apart from conventional medicine. This conference is solely to discuss ways of facilitating the wide scale adoption of traditional and alternative medicine into orthodox medical practice in Nigeria. Championing this move is the First Lady of Nigeria, Aisha Muhammadu Buhari. As I'm aware, Nigeria is blessed with over 10,000 species of medicinal plants, of which less than 20% is utilized. These valuable bioresources, often referred to as green gold, can be harnessed for the production of medicines, cosmetics, and other related products. Other experts here are eager to see this relatively unexplored area of medical practice fully incorporated into the healthcare structure, starting from the primary healthcare system. The Federal Ministry of Health will consider how to officially integrate traditional, alternative, and complementary medicine in our primary healthcare system, as has been done in many other countries, in China and India, for example. But as this is done, however, it is important that this practice is regulated to assure full health benefits accrue to our people. The world is making money from them all, but Nigeria is making nothing. The market today is over $200 billion. Nigeria's First Lady also wants to ensure the speedy passage of the TCAM bill and has advised wives of state governors to adopt the initiative and implement it at state levels. Gradual integration of TCAM into the healthcare delivery system towards the achievement of universal coverage. Prompt passage of the TCAM council bill to regulate the practice and products as required by law. The traditional and alternative medicine market has a potential of hitting one trillion naira in medicine value by the year 2050. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.